during Advent at 4 p.m. on Zoom, we're gathering for a Bible study we're calling A Weary World Imagines. We're listening to Isaiah 65, verses 17 through 25, and wondering how this vision of restoration and liberation can be cast into our future. First, we wondered about our ecological future. This last week, we wondered about justice on the North American continent, with particular care to race, and economics. Next week, we'll wonder about the city of Seattle. Today, as we listen to Isaiah 65, verses 17 through 25, I invite you for a benediction to listen for an image or a word that God is giving you for the future of this planet, of this nation, of this city, or even for yourself. Now, look here, says the Eternal One. I am creating a new heavens and a new earth. The weary and painful past will be as if it never happened. No one will talk or even think about it anymore. So take joy and celebrate with unending gladness on account of what I am creating. Look carefully, I am making this place that I've chosen, this Jerusalem or this planet, a city or a world of joy. I am making all of her citizens my people people of gladness, this Jerusalem or this planet, my pride, my joy, her people will be a delight to me. All of creation will be a delight to me. Though you listen at every corner, you will never hear crying and never hear despair or grief. Never again will a person not live a full life. For the young will live to be a hundred and anyone who dies earlier will be considered cursed. People will confidently build houses and make their homes. They will plant vineyards and enjoy their fruit for years to come. They won't worry that someone else will come along and drive them out and take it away. For my people will live as long as these age-old trees. My chosen will use up and wear out whatever they make. They will not work hard for what others take away. They will not lose children to sudden terror and death for they are the offspring of those blessed by the Eternal One. They and their descendants will enjoy God's blessing. I'll anticipate their prayers and respond before they know it. Even as they speak, I will hear, but they will all eat together like friends. Wolf and lamb, lion and ox, the biting snake will feed on dust. When that day arrives, there will be no evil, no violence, no hurt or wrong, no abuse in all my sacred mountain. A weary world can imagine. A weary heart can hope. A weeping heart can dance. In our darkest night, God kindles a light that never dies away. Go, look for the light in the darkness. Find the laughter in the tears. Find the imagination in a weary world. Go to love and serve God and all of creation. Amen.